your favorite FX analyst. Yes, it's me again. Um, before I proceed, I've been getting a lot of emails and DMs and messages from people who watch my videos and want to improve their trading. First of all, for the fact that you're, you're, you're actually accepting the fact that you're not that good at the market and messaging me, I do respect you. Because one thing I noticed was that a lot of people tend to be ashamed of the fact that they're not successful traders yet. You have to understand that I was there at some point in my life. I used to, you know, I, I never wanted anybody to know that I wasn't making any, any money in the market. So I always used to put up that front like, yes, I'm a very good trader. Uh, I can smash the market. I can make $5 million in a week. You know, I, I like to always create that impression. But, you know, that wasn't really exactly helping me. So for those of you who are coming out of your shell and emailing me, don't worry, I'm not going to disclose any of your information. Feel free to email me so that I can actually help you. It was not until I actually accepted the fact that I was actually a very shitty trader. When I accepted the fact that I was a very shitty trader, then I started to see improvement. Then I realized that I needed to get some help and I needed to speak to people who are very good in the market. So uh, that being said, today I'm going to be giving you guys some analysis you can take home for the week. Actually, this my analysis is going to last for maybe another 10 days of trading. Uh, 10 trading days so you can actually use it and uh, basically use it together with your trading and you, you get my point just use it use my analysis in addition to your trading so that you can become a better trader so that being said uh, I like for you guys to hop onto my screen and there's anything I want to say to you guys I'm forgetting um, yeah that's all I have to say but anyways hop onto my screen I'm not gonna take too much of your time today just hop onto my screen so that I can show you guys how uh, I'm looking at the market for the week ahead and how I feel you guys should be trading as well so alright guys hop, 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 hop. hi guys so welcome to my screen what I have in front of me here is the GBP USD. I hope you guys like my new mic uh, my previous mic was pretty pissing me off although it was really fancy but it was really pissing me off um, so last time I was on here giving you guys some really nice analysis I was showing you guys you know GBP USD GBP JPY and a couple of other pairs and last time I spoke to you guys GBP USD was pretty much still around this region and it's rather unfortunate because this pair hasn't really done much you know and that's part of the reason why I haven't really put out a video a lot recently uh, you guys need to understand the kind of trader I am. I am not the type who is always hunting for trades, okay? I allow the trades to come to me. And lately, I haven't really been seeing any trades coming to me. So, I have not been able to give you guys some content. That being said, I can see something really interesting happening on GBPUSD at the moment. Now, if you look at GBPUSD, this has been the resistance level for the past how many days now? Jeez since february we've been trying to break this resistance and that hasn't really happened so what i can see from here is that we're pretty much holding on to this trend line for dear life and i strongly believe strongly believe that once we're able to break this trend line i'm actually going to be waiting for this pair once we break this trend line our next level target for this pair is 1.2800 no brainer if we break here and we come lower actually i should put a support level so that we know because we can break the trend line and not break the support level you now you don't really want that to be happening to you okay so once we break this zone about here then we can now start heading lower so i'm looking at levels like 1.2800 once we take out this level or well, this is 1.2800 once we take this level the next level target is this green zone now i really want to show you guys a quick trick okay in terms of taking out your profit when the market breaks a trend line okay i'll take that again when the market does break a trend line i want to show you guys how to take out your profit now your first profit target should be one of the very recent points of that trend line so basically if we break here my first profit target is going to be here because that's just the way the market works it always comes back to respect here once we take out this level the next level target is here because that's also a point on the trend line so basically it's the points on the trend line that i'm going to be using to take out, take out my profit you can also test this stuff by yourself i've been doing it for the past eight years so trust me it does work so once we break here i'm pretty certain that our next level target is 1.2800 sorry i need to wear this thing on my microphone because i want to check out the difference i want to test the difference sorry about that noise. yeah I think this is a lot better 
just testing out, you know, test out new stuff all the time. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's GBP USD for you in a nutshell. But in case we don't break lower, you know, we might potentially head out of this region. I just want to put my thingy on here to show you guys we can potentially blow out of here. So, uh, it's still a 50 50 thing for me. I need to ensure that this market does break 1.3046. Once we take out that level, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it here first. In fact, I'm going to be updating you guys on my Instagram about that level. Once we take it out, I'm looking for short opportunities to 1.2800. So that's, uh, <coughs> excuse me, that's GBPUSD in a nutshell. Now, the next pair I want to be going over is Euro USD. Now, Euro Dollar, I just need to explain to you guys what exactly is going on with this pair so that you guys understand why I'm caught making this bogus calls. <laughs> so, Euro Dollar, hmm, guys, this market has been ranging for the longest, so don't know what's going to happen to this market again. I'm just looking at it like. Aren't you going to break in either direction? Come on, show me a direction. Just give me a moment. Let me just zone this level about here. So what's actually been happening is that this market is pretty much in a range. Okay, we top the, we top the downside, top the upside, upside, downside, upside, downside. However, I'm seeing what I can likely call a triple bottom. Okay, one, two three times this market has tested this level i'm not exactly favoring the downside that much anymore and something really interesting did happen which is something like this okay so we've pretty much broken the inner trend line we've broken it as you can see the market is you know it tried to break it today but you know that was you know the market wasn't exactly having it okay so it's adjusted so it tried to break it today but as you can see we're heading all the way back to the downside so i'm just going to be waiting okay so this is my game plan right if we break so we've broken this level we retest it i'll come to a lower time frame give me a moment i'll come to a lower time frame because clearly this is a double bottom so I'll come to a lower time frame. As you can see, we're racing all the way back down here to test this level. So two things can happen, right? This is how you trade this kind of market. First things first, if we test here and head back up and break. So only until we break this fake out. So you can look at this as a fake out, okay? Some people will look at some people are already getting long. Oh, you broke out, so they're going to buy. No, because I'm not exactly sure if it's a fake out or a proper breakout. I will wait for the fake out to happen, put a resistance barrier on top of it, and then wait for the market to do what, retest whatever it wants to retest, and then come back to break it again. Now, if we, we attempt it and break it for the second time, then I'll be looking to buy. And ladies and gentlemen, if we do break this level, because it's not looking like it's going to do that within the next three days, okay, maybe two, two to three days anyways. If that does happen, then I'm going to be looking at targets at 1.14280, which is somewhere at the top here. So my point is, if we, so this is what what might most likely happen. So we come back down here, and then we start pushing all the way to the upside. But my entries are gonna, I'm gonna have to wait. Buy signals only come once we see a decent candle break above this resistance. So uh, that's euro dollar in a nutshell. Um, what might also happen might be something like this okay as you can see is that's why i don't encourage people to trade the rent ranging market but you know euro dollar is a is a very is a big boy i mean you can't exactly ignore euro dollar if you're doing your analysis that's why i decided that oh i was gonna because everybody's always asking me that's euro dollar euro usd euro euro what's happening to euro dollar this is what's happening it's quite chaotic okay another thing that might happen is you know we can indeed come and break this this trend this counter trend line and then start heading lower but i'm not exactly looking at bearish setups if that does happen i won't be selling okay if we break to the downside i will not be selling this market. i'm not interested in selling this market because my bias is bullish i have a triple bottom i'm looking to look for 
upside opportunities the only time i'm going to be looking for downside opportunities is if we do in if we do indeed clear out this mess because this is an absolute mess until we do clear out this mess uh my capital is not worth gambling with so i'm not going to be interested in trading this market so euro dollar is only one way i'm looking i'm looking upwards if the upward if my my if my what's the word how do i put this if my scenario doesn't come to play if my trade setup if my bullish setup doesn't happen then i will not be looking to you know trade this market but if it does happen then i will be looking for buy opportunities so guys that is euro dollar now I, the last time i was on here i i i analyzed usd card and i did encourage you guys to go and buy this pair so i personally am long usd card i know a couple of you guys are long usd card but what happened to usd card after we went long that's the most important thing a lot of people just you know give you trade ideas give you trade signals but they don't exactly follow up because you know it's one thing to get into a trade it's another thing to manage the trade manage the trade in terms of the trade and also manage your emotions now usd card has been an absolute emotional roller coaster in the sense that uh, i think we we went long somewhere about here yeah i'm long somewhere about here because i saw this was a breakout this is a retest and i thought the market was just gonna rally all the way to the upside but then you know it came it bounced i saw some couple of green candles i was excited yes 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 the market is heading my direction and then next thing we failed to break this level i was like oh my days there's trouble this problem so because my stop losses were all the way down here i wasn't really panicking i wasn't really stressing I just said well if it was not meant to work out it wasn't meant to work out so what actually happened was the market came and started coiling and coiling and coiling and coiling and has formed what i like to call a flag pattern this is now looking like a bullish flag pattern you have to remember that usd card is indeed in a excuse me usd card is indeed in a bullish momentum so rather is in indeed in a bullish trend so anything bullish i'll be looking at very closely although my trade uh is still somewhere about break even my trade is still open i've had this trade open for about two weeks now so my trade is still open uh probably maybe negative uh 3k no big deal nothing to cry about probably negative 3k but i'm pretty certain that once we do indeed take out this level to the upside you know we're definitely gonna be back in profit and my my upside targets still remain here like i'm putting i'm not just putting my video out there to tell you guys about my bias i'm putting my word behind it i'm putting my freaking money on it that's how much i believe in my analysis and my technical skills so you know kudos to me for that <laughs> so yeah this is usd card uh for those of you who are able to enter usd card when we did enter i'm still calling usd card buy long 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 buy so all you all the best way for you to get into this market is to wait for this range to break out and then we can now look for potential long opportunities if that does happen trust me i will be adding to my already existing position because look here excuse me <clears throat> look here guys i'm long somewhere about here by the time the market gets here i'll already be in some substantial profit maybe about 2k i'll move my stop losses to break even and then i'll be adding another position to it you know just to stack it up and compound so all my my trading strategy is very simple i don't i don't place a lot of trades i look for one particular setup trade it when it goes in my favor now look for another trading opportunity within that same pair and that same movement market movement and then move my initial stops to break even and then add to another one so i take one trade setup and i pretty much milk it okay and my stop losses are about three percent risk ten percent reward so if i'm probably placing about three to four trades on one particular trade uh see or will i say flow or sequence then you can only imagine how much i'm making i only need one trade to make 40 50 percent of my account but at the end of the day i'm still keeping my risk at three percent so i can literally risk three percent and make 50 percent that's crazy right i know it's, it's, you guys pretty much don't understand what i'm saying but if you want to you want to find out how you can learn about more how if you want to find out how you can learn about you know, So that's pretty much how i trade so if you want to find out about how exactly it is that i do trade don't forget to contact me below i always leave a link for a one-to-one -one call i leave my email address there and the best way to contact me is actually my instagram page so feel free to contact me on instagram i'm gonna go through this again gbp usd 
I just run through this again before I leave so that you guys are left with some serious value. Yeah, GBP USD. If we break this trend line, we're heading lower. If we bounce here, we're heading higher. But I'm looking, I'm favoring a uh, move to the downside, and I'll be updating you guys on my Instagram as well. Sorry about that. Uh, the next one I went over was Euro Dollar. I said to you guys, Euro Dollar, if uh, we've broken out of this range, it's looking like a fake out. But the only way I'm going to be buying this market is if we come and take out this region about here. If I see a break through of this level then i'll be looking for buy opportunities and the last one i went over excuse me my charts are acting up the last one i did go over was usd cad us dollar cad i am long i am bullish and i'm calling an upside target for 1.3657 if you don't if you don't already have a trade simply wait for the break of this bullish flag and then you can hop on and make some pips so i hope i've been able to you know give you guys some decent and juicy analysis for today and guys, just before I go, please, don't be moved by all the flashy stuff. This is actually how you should trade. Like, this is the real deal. This is the real deal. This is exactly how you should look at the market, okay? Indicators don't work. Strategies don't work. You need to sit your ass down and you need to analyze the market before you execute any trade. All right, guys. Uh, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed watching my analysis. I hope you guys watched, enjoyed watching this video. Please... I need you guys to first of all subscribe, like this freaking video because that's how I'm able to reach a wider audience. I'm trying to help the FX community, but you guys are not liking my videos and subscribing to my channel. So please like, drop a comment. I'm begging you. <laughs> I'm literally begging you. And please check out my other videos. Take your time and watch them. I have so much value. Like guys, I'm giving you all this information from a point of experience, eight years worth of trading experience. I have everything that you're going through in this market, I have been through it. And I'm putting it right here on this channel. So do yourself a favor and myself a favor and like, subscribe and watch my other videos in my channel as well. God bless you as you do so. Peace and bye.